Okay, today what I'm going to show you uh, really applies to a misfire in any uh, Scion or uh, Toyota like a, Yar a Yaris um, or an Echo that's got the 1.5 liter engine. And really it applies to uh, virtually any car that's got a separate coil for each cylinder. Uh, the diagnosis and repair on, the, on these would be pretty much uh, universal. But this specifically is a 2006 uh, XA uh, Scion that we'll be working on today. So this uh, car developed a severe misfire. Check engine light came on, even started to flash. When the check engine light starts to flash with a bad misfire, it means your catalyst uh, can be damaged. The excess fuel uh, going into the catalyst, it heating up, it can even melt down. So you don't want to drive a car very long with a bad misfire. Uh, catalytic converts can be very expensive. But anyways, let's get on to the diagnosis. Now, um, some individuals are, have recommended to isolate which cylinder is misfiring. I've even seen on YouTube guys uh, pulling these coils out while the car is running one by one. I don't recommend that at all. You're looking at 20,000, 40,000 to 40,000 volts. Um, you could get zapped. Aside from that, you can damage electrical components. You could damage the coils you're pulling out. You could, you could even... Uh, damage the control unit uh, that's giving the signal to the coils. Not a good idea. Now another approach is to use a diagnostic tool uh, to check. Uh, it'll store a diagnostic code which will t uh, tell you which cylinder is misfiring and um, from there you could say it's it was in this car number three was misfiring. You could swap say number uh, one and number three and then start the car up and then use your diagnostic tool uh, you can either look at the data uh, where it shows the cylinders firing or you could or pretty quickly store a code again and you'll you'll see that the uh, misfire has moved to another cylinder and that way you've isolated which coil is actually bad now a misfire on these cars I'd say more than 99.9% .9 of the time it's going to be one of these coils. That's just what, what happens on these. Otherwise these engines are very uh, reliable and don't develop uh, too many problems. But I, uh, I'm going to explain to you the way I would really recommend doing it. Rather than even swapping coils or running the car, every time you run the car you're dumping uh, fresh fuel, a, a lot of unburned fuel in, into the converter and you risk uh, damaging it and as, as I mentioned it's very expensive so what I recommend doing uh, diagnostic tools like this have come way down in price you can you can get these now very inexpensive uh, this was just a cheap one but it'll store it'll you know read a, a diagnostic codes it'll give you data and everything so start with that and then what I recommend rather than uh, swapping coils with the cylinders. It's better to just start out with a known good one and then put the known good coil in the cylinder that the tool shows is misfiring and just almost a hundred percent of the time that's going to repair your your car. You know you some people may not want to spend the money first but these are inexpensive really and um, in fact, uh, this um, Scion has 170,000 miles on it. It's something amazing. This is the record in all my years of uh, working on cars. 170,000 miles, original plugs. The way you can tell, well, first of all, the gap is just huge on here, but a lot of car manufacturers will actually mark in some way the top of the spark plug. That indicates it's an original spark plug, and uh, 170,000 miles, just incredible. I don't recommend that, but the car was still running good until coil let go. Actually, oh, before it had 90,000 miles on it, before I know any history on the car, somebody had actually changed one of the coils, and they changed the plug at that time. So it has one newer plug in it, and it had a Chinese coil on it. Now I recommend, especially on a car like this, 170,000 miles is, um, well, first of all, uh, let me digress for a minute. 
I don't recommend any on any car uh, fooling around with um, cheap aftermarket coils because some of them may be okay, but unless you unless you actually have uh, good recommendations and evidence from somewhere that that they are decent, I wouldn't risk it. You know the price difference is is marginal. I was able on eBay to locate uh, a, a package of four original Toyota Denso coils for seventy dollars in free shipping. Now, granted, it took over a week for them to come from California, but um, yeah, I really recommend that's the way to go. And any any car, I recommend using well, the two things: the uh, the factory coils and the factory designated spark plugs because they work together you know and they're very precisely designed to work together and they're at the your control unit is getting specific feedback uh, from the firing of these spark plugs and I've found over the years that um, using any some cars are more sensitive uh, than others to it but um, you know using a, a so-called comparable replacement spark plug is just asking for trouble. You know, they may work okay, and then again they may not. And uh, so I, I always go with original spark plugs, original coils. So basically, today I'm going to put the, the four new coils in. I already put the new uh, spark plugs in. And um, something I always recommend is use some silicone dielectric compound and smear a little bit, get it all the way around the boot. You don't have to use a lot, but make sure it covers the complete circumference just inside the bottom of the boot. So when it slips over the spark plug, you've got an extra insurance that your spark will, will go where it belongs. And um, I don't know the Toyota recommendation, but I recommend it. And from working on Saabs for years, uh, replacement ignition uh, discharge modules, the the coil packs, they won't even warranty it if, if you don't use the, the electric compound on there. So I think it's important, a little extra insurance. Another uh, point on replacing all four of them and this car's got 170,000 miles and this way there's one bad one and there's three others so I have spares I really recommend on any any of these cars that have any real amount of miles on them you know is all you need is a 10 millimeter wrench you know you can even use a little box wrench 10 millimeter wrench and keep one of these in your car you're on a trip or something save yourself a breakdown until you know we're burning up or, or continuing to drive and melting down your catalytic converter you know twenty dollar part so keep one in your trunk and a 10 millimeter wrench so that's what we'll do with this car after we replace the four new coils so I'm really I like doing it right I mean seventy dollars spark plugs fourteen dollars for original spark plugs for four not bad so eighty four dollars total cost to uh, repair this car the proper way. One other tip, really important, these, these plastic uh, plugs, as they're older, this plastic has gotten very brittle, and if you, if you press down here like, like they're designed to, to release this tab, I guarantee you it's going to crack and break this, and then you'll have nothing to hold this clip on, you're going to end up uh, taking wire ties or something and wire tying around this to keep it on there. So what I do is take something like a very small screwdriver or a, a pick like this and you just pry up on the uh, tab here. There's actually quite a bit of tension on it. Um, but you want to pry up on it just enough to get it over the, uh, the little knob here and then you can then you can pull it back. If you're very careful, you can keep from from cracking these.
if you're pulling on those plugs with the, that way you know the second that you've got the, the tab high enough to come right off without cracking. bad one here is going to set that aside. Put a little that dielectric grease boot there. I like to hold them down or there's a spring resistance on there. I, I feel they tighten straighter if they're already down rather than sucking them down by tightening them. word on the connectors it's nice they they go every other one black gray black gray and they they kind of lay the way they, they came off so it's pretty hard to get them mixed up but you do want to note it you don't want to mix them up there's a little plastic cover that goes over here We're fired up now There we go. It's all fixed. I'm just gonna take the diagnostic tool and go in and turn off the second light, and uh, we're all set. Pop the tool. So there's your P0301, cylinder number one misfire detected.
Pending code mil uh, cylinder number three misfire detected, because that's where originally the coil was at, originally in cylinder number three, and I moved it to cylinder number one. Codes erased. All done.